Mr. Speaker. It's like something out of a movie. A country club bartender threatens to poison the Speaker of the House. But this indictment is very real, charging Michael Robert Hoyt with threatening to murder John Boehner. The disturbed Hoyt telling police he was Jesus Christ, even blaming Boehner for Ebola. That was Boehner's response when CNN asked about the threat, which he has known about since it happened last fall. Boehner and his wife Debbie knew bartender Mike, as he was called, for years. He even had Debbie Boehner's email address and sent her this chilling note after he was fired from their Westchester, Ohio country club, writing, If I had any intention of hurting Mr. Boehner, I could have poisoned his wine at Wetherington many, many times. What is this about? Debbie Boehner responded. Hoyt's rambling answer in part, Mrs. Boehner, I was fired. I could not email Mr. Boehner directly because of the zip code block on his email. The next day, he placed an unintelligible call to 911. Yes, this is uh, Mike. Uh, I'm messed up. When police went to his home, Hoyt said he had heard the devil's voice telling him John Boehner was evil, and he planned to shoot Boehner with an automatic weapon. It's a sad situation that... Um I think this individual needs a great deal of help, but the speaker also needs to be protected. Since 9-11, security at the Capitol is stiff. This armored vehicle, known as Bearcat, sits outside. But when most lawmakers are home, they're on their own. A fact on deadly display four years ago when an assassin tried to kill then-Congresswoman Gabby Giffords. But Capitol Police do protect congressional leaders, and the House Speaker, second in line to the presidency, has more protection than any other. He does not make a move inside the Capitol or out without security detail. But nothing is absolute. There may be security at a table next to them, but they're a patron like any other customer. Doug High was a top aide to former House leader Eric Cantor when a bullet hole was found in his Virginia office. How common is this kind of thing? Unfortunately, it's more common than anybody would expect. But they all get angry letters every day from Republicans, from Democrats, from independents. But every once in a while, somebody steps over the line, says something they shouldn't do, makes an overt threat. And every time the Capitol Police investigates it, 